does Harry remain in the U.S.? And will he be married to Meghan in 10 years? I think he's pretty much in the thrall of Meghan. Yes. The trouble with Meghan is that she has the worst judgment of anyone in the entire (laughs) world. I mean, she just, she's flawless about getting it all wrong. You know, I mean, she just is... (laughs) <laughs> a perfectionist really about it. <laughs> She's a perfectionist about getting it all wrong. It's like every time I think, finally, you know, when she got WME involved, her issue is that she doesn't listen to all these, but the reason they all leave is because she does not listen. She has all these people, asks them their opinion, and then doesn't follow it. She does what <laughs> she wants to do. And all of her ideas are, are total crap, you know, unfortunately. And he, because he's so naive and sort of really unschooled in the ways of the world, I mean, you know, honestly... Being Prince Harry means that. I mean, you, I doubt if any he ever booked a table in a restaurant. You know, he's he's oh. totally. Uh, he, the army was great for him, and he was extremely good and and competent in there. That that really helped turn him into a real person. But he really, you know, he's he's a lamb to the slaughter. He's the lamb to the slaughter in this situation. I mean, he was terribly impressed by Meghan. He thought that she knew all. She persuaded him that she was the savvy. Hollywood wheeler dealer, you know, who yes. could come in and make them stars and all the rest of it. And he just sort of blindly followed her like a child, really. And unfortunately, she made every mistake in the book. And she's kind of run out of road, actually. I mean, I don't know where Megan goes. Today, we're on a mission to debunk the rather unpalatable remarks made by Tina Brown on our beloved Sussexes, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. From calling Meghan's ideas total crap to labeling Harry as naive, Tina has left no stone unturned in her unwarranted critique. But don't worry, we're here to set the record straight. So without further ado, let's dive right into the matter at hand. First off, Tina Brown's assertion that Meghan Markle's ideas are total crap. Let's delve into this claim and see how it stands up against reality. Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, has been a trailblazer in numerous ways. She's not just a former actress turned duchess, but a philanthropist, a public speaker, and an advocate for women's rights and education. Her initiatives, such as the Arkewell Foundation she co-founded with Prince Harry, are a testament to her vision and commitment to social impact. The foundation's mission to uplift and unite communities and drive systemic cultural change across all communities, hardly a crap idea, wouldn't you agree? And let's not forget her children's book, The Bench, which topped the New York Times bestseller list within a week of its release. The book, which explores the special bond between fathers and sons, has been praised for its heartfelt message and beautiful illustrations. It's clear that Megan's ideas resonate with a wide audience, challenging Tina's claim that they are total crap. Then there's her advocacy for women's rights. Megan has been a vocal supporter of gender equality and has used her platform to highlight the importance of education for girls. She's spoken at various international forums, including the United Nations, where she delivered a powerful speech on International Women's Day. Moreover, Megan's guest editing stint at British Vogue was a resounding success. The September 2019 issue, titled Forces for Change, featured women who break barriers and was the fastest selling issue in the magazine's history. So it's evident that Megan's ideas are far from being total crap. They are progressive, impactful, and resonate with people across the globe. It seems Tina Brown's claim is more a reflection of her own inability to appreciate innovation and change rather than a legitimate critique of Megan's ideas. Perhaps it's time for Tina to reevaluate her stance and give credit where it's due. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Stay tuned as we continue to debunk more of Tina Brown's unfounded claims about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Next, we address the claim that Prince Harry is naive. Let's take a moment to analyze this assertion. Prince Harry, who served in the British Army for 10 years, rising to the rank of captain and undertaking two tours in Afghanistan is being labeled as naive? Seems a bit far-fetched, doesn't it? During his time in the army, Prince Harry demonstrated a great deal of courage, leadership, and strategic thinking, qualities that are far from being associated with naivety. Moreover, his military service was not just a symbolic gesture, but a genuine commitment to his country and his fellow soldiers. This shows a deep understanding of responsibility, duty, and the harsh realities of the world, which is quite the opposite of being naive. 
following his military career, Prince Harry, along with Prince Siiso of Lesotho, co-founded Sentebele, a charity to help the most vulnerable children in Lesotho, Botswana, and Malawi get the support they need to lead healthy and productive lives. He also founded the Invictus Games, an international sporting event for wounded, injured, and sick servicemen and women, both serving and veterans. These accomplishments not only demonstrate his compassion but also his ability to affect change on a global scale. In more recent times, Prince Harry and Meghan have secured multi-million dollar contracts with Netflix and Spotify, suggesting a good understanding of the entertainment industry and an ability to navigate complex business negotiations. Their projects focus on creating content that informs, uplifts, and gives a voice to underrepresented communities. This strategic move not only solidifies their financial independence, but also allows them to continue their philanthropic endeavors. So, when you look at Prince Harry's track record, it's clear that he is far from being naive. He has consistently demonstrated strong leadership, a deep understanding of the world, and the ability to make strategic decisions that have a lasting impact. Clearly, Prince Harry is anything but naive. Tina Brown also insisted that Meghan Markle has the worst judgment. Now let's take a moment to dissect this claim. We've seen Meghan's decision-making skills in action time and again. Remember when she chose to marry into a royal family, fully aware of the scrutiny and pressure that would come with it? She took that bold step, not out of naivety, but out of love and a desire to make a difference. Then there's her decision to step back from royal duties for the sake of her mental health. That move was not a sign of poor judgment, but an act of self-preservation. It takes a lot of courage to prioritize one's mental well-being in a world that often undervalues it. This decision showed her strength and her refusal to conform to expectations at the expense of her well-being. And let's not forget her decision to speak out about the racism she faced within the royal family and British tabloids. This wasn't a rash move born out of poor judgment. It was a calculated decision to shed light on an issue that is too often swept under the rug. Megan used her platform to raise awareness about racism and the toll it takes on mental health, sparking important conversations around the globe. When you look at these decisions, it's clear that Megan's judgment is anything but flawed. She has consistently demonstrated courage, resilience, and a commitment to using her platform to affect change. Megan's judgment isn't about making decisions that are popular or easy. It's about making decisions that align with her values, even if they invite criticism. And that's a sign of strength, not poor judgment. So when Tina Brown labels Megan's judgment as the worst, it's not just an unfair assessment, it's a gross misrepresentation of the truth. It seems that Tina's judgment of Megan is clouded by her own biases, and that's a real shame. Megan's judgment, far from being the worst, has consistently demonstrated her strength and courage. Finally, Tina Brown's claim that Harry is simply in the thrall of Meghan. Let's talk about this. Tina Brown suggests that Harry is under some kind of spell, merely following Meghan without question or thought. However, this assertion seems to disregard Harry's own statements, actions, and long-standing advocacy. To begin with, Harry has been vocal about his desire to step back from his former duties. This decision was not a spur-of-the-moment choice, but a carefully considered move that took years of contemplation. Harry himself has mentioned the pressure and mental toll of his previous role, and his decision to prioritize his mental health shows a clear and independent thought process. In addition, Harry has been a prominent advocate for mental health long before he met Meghan. His work with various mental health organizations and his candidness about his own struggles demonstrate a strong commitment to this cause. It seems implausible to attribute this dedication solely to Meghan's influence. Furthermore, Harry has been outspoken about his desire to protect his family. His decision to move away from his previous role was, in part, a means to safeguard Meghan and their children from the relentless media scrutiny they were subjected to. Tina Brown's claim seems to overlook Harry's autonomy and individuality. It paints a picture of a man blindly following his wife without considering his own feelings, beliefs, and values. However, Harry's actions and words suggest otherwise. He is a man who values his mental health, the well-being of his family, and the causes he believes in. In conclusion, Harry is not simply following Meghan blindly, but making decisions based on his own beliefs and values. 
A narrative that reduces Harry to a mere follower underestimates his capacity for independent thought and decision-making. We've systematically debunked each of Tina Brown's claims about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. From the unjust assertion that Meghan's ideas are total crap, we've brought to light the actual impact and value of her initiatives. We've also dispelled the notion that Prince Harry is naive, highlighting instead his informed and active role in his own life and the lives of the Sussex family. Tina Brown's claim that Meghan has the worst judgment has been thoroughly refuted as we've examined the thoughtful, intentional decisions she's made, both in her personal life and in her professional endeavors. And finally, we have countered the baseless accusation that Harry is in the thrall of Meghan, demonstrating their mutual respect and partnership. Throughout our discussion, we've underscored our unwavering support for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. We've seen them navigate an often hostile media landscape with grace and dignity, always staying true to their values and their commitment to making a positive difference in the world. In the face of unfounded criticisms and attacks, let us remember the importance of standing with the Sussexes, of acknowledging their contributions and their resilience. It is not only about debunking the lies, but also about celebrating the truth of who they are and what they stand for. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Royal Telly. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.